Simon Lecture is one of those things, it's a way for us to shine. It's a way for us to say to everybody that this year we're back. It was canceled originally because of COVID and a couple times tried to bring it back, but you know, COVID kept resurging. And then finally, when we managed to schedule it and everything, that of course I got COVID. It's nice to get out and talk to people. I teach at Columbia University, a risk management class. I run a uh, quant finance seminar in New York. It's just much more kind of intellectually stimulating to talk to other people in the area and see what's going on. Being in finance as opposed to pure math, where there's a much smaller group that tend to be working in a particular area I could even talk to. What the Simon Lecture has done traditionally for us is given our students a chance to meet folks on the other side of graduation. It's been a way for us to kind of put all these folks together in the same room. You know, there's a lot of folks here that they kind of know each other. And so for them, it's an excuse to have dinner and chat. We're here to expose folks to ideas. And we're here to show you that you can think philosophically about challenges in life insurance and risk management and find an outlet for that. Statistics have a story, and part of using statistics and understanding them is being able to understand the story with them. I think the coolest thing about our Simon Lecture this year is it almost seemed like a roadmap of how we've managed risk in the past to how we could be managing it in years to come. It was good to see some of my former students uh, working in practice, so that was very nice to see as well. We want our students to come to the Simon Lecture and continue to develop their social and networking skills. We're not just here to prepare students, but we're here to do research and we're here to attract top level insurance academic work and to kind of deepen these industrial ties. Learned a lot, loved seeing new takes, met a lot of new people here, it was really fun. I think it's, it's a great opportunity for anybody. If you enjoy mathematics, if you enjoy programming, if you enjoy thinking about problems somewhat philosophically, but at the end of the day, being mindful that you need data and you need to make a case for it if you're interested in communicating those ideas, actuarial science is something for you to look at.